Hi everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums, and I would like to share a mini album I made with you. This was a special commission, um, and it's going out to a friend who has just gotten a new puppy, and you know how special that can be. So I used papers from my dog collection. I didn't have the full paper pad or any of the stickers, but um, the papers I got were beautiful and everything matched together, and the mini album came out fabulous. Uh, I'm sure the puppy mom will be really happy putting in pictures. So here's the mini album. It is a six by eight inch mini. Um, the cover I kept fairly simple. Now I did pop this up. It's got chipboard on it and it's one of the cut aparts. But don't you just love this paper with all the, the dogs? And then I, I made a little sort of a band in the center with the dog print paper. I did make a dangle on the side. Uh, I just took some chain I had and I have a little, let's see if you can see it, a bone. I have a key, uh, yeah, a key, um, a dog charm. It's got a dog print on it. Um, this is um, just a metal round that I had punched out some of the dog prints from the paper and put it on. And then I have, um, yeah, one of those. So, and that is put on with a Tim Holtz bread. So this one does have, it's about a two and a quarter inch spine. There's still lots of room inside. So let's take you inside. I'll show you what we've got. So the inside cover has lots of room. So there is a flap that opens and it's got a magnet here. And then these are four by four cut aparts. So if they don't print out four by four pictures, they can take, um, four by six photos and use a uh, an app that does collage and make a picture like it but usually people will have four by six photos that they can crop down so that is cute on there um and then i did some paper piecing to uh have room for four by six photos so these photo mats are four and a quarter by six and a quarter so you can just take four by four photos and put it on there. I made most of this by for four by four photos. I think this is the only page that I had different sizes than four by fours because most people that I know are gonna print out four by six photos. So there were some cut aparts that were absolutely adorable um, that I wanted to include with the collection. And then this is a little folder I thought in the beginning of the book she might want to put puppy pictures so there is room for at least three four by six photos but again if she has more and she wants to crop them down she can put that in with it so that goes in there these little cut aparts go in there and this will go like that and then this kind of and there are some more of these uh, adorable cut aparts you had me at woof. Isn't that cute? So this is just to put pictures in without putting on a photo mat. If you're not a scrapbooker, sometimes the simplest way of adding photos to a book is easiest. So she can just put them right in here in the pocket and pull the photos out or just put one picture in um, and then attach it. That is an option as well. And then these are pocket pages. There's five pages in the book. And there's room for four by six photos and or journaling. And you know, if you have photos that are landscape, you can still use that in the pockets of the book. Because, you know, it goes any way you want it to. So there is one of the hidden pocket pages. And then these two pages obviously match. This is a large pocket on the side. Again, room for a four by six photo. So you can have two pictures on there and two on that one. And then there's a little 
page that opens up here. So this is a little, this is exactly four by six. So it's a little bit smaller than four by six for a photo, but you can leave that blank and this will fit the four by six photo right on it. And then this opens up this way and room for a picture there and uh, loose pictures in the pocket. And there is another one of those adorable cut aparts. Some I have plain, so uh, the owner can journal on the back if she so chooses. So that goes like that. And then this one opens up same way. Again, room to put a photo and attach a photo in there. So that goes like that. And here is the pocket page. All right, now this one gets a little more complicated, but it's still fun. So this will open up like this. And this is a belly band. And there are, there's a cute little doggy paper clip, dog bone paper clip. There's that. Your lucky dog. Eat, sleep, play, repeat. And then room for a photo, a four by six photo there. And then this will open up like that. So again, some paper piecing. So just put the four by six photo on there. No cropping needed. You can put a picture on here. Although I love the paper, I don't know if I'd be able to. But definitely room here to put another photo. And then, oh, I lied. I, there is another spot to put pictures. So this is four by four and it's open on the top and on the bottom. So you can put a picture and then this embellishment sort of is part of the picture. And then this will open up one more time to like that and there's room for your four by six photo. So that'll go like that. These will go in the belly band. And that'll close like that. All right, and here that says woof. That'll open up, and this part opens this way, and this part opens like that. You still can put the 4x6 photo on here, even though it's cut, you still can do that. And there's, of course, a magnetic closure, and then there is the pocket page. Okay, so in keeping with the idea that I want her to be able to use four by six photos without cropping, there is this accordion uh, fold. So it'll open like this. So room for photos there. And then it'll also open this way. So room for photos. So basically there's room right there and like there. So there's a magnet inside to keep everything all neat and tight. But this one comes out, so this is good for the landscape pictures. And that'll open like that. And like that. Or simply, it can just stretch out. And you incidentally can put that, um, you know, maybe on a mantle or on your desk if you wanted to just take your your doggy pictures and put it up. So that goes into this pocket, which is dimensional. It's a quarter of an inch thick, so then the pictures will fit in there. So there is the hidden pocket. This is a simple page, so um, room to put a picture here. And actually, this has, is a little tuck spot, so you can put a photo in there and held together with a magnet. There's the hidden pocket page. And on the last page, actually I'm going to take that and put it in the tuck spot. On the last page, lots of roofing and barking here. And there is a neat, so this you could put a photo on the back. I mean, you could put one on the front too, but most people have a hard time covering up something like that. And then here is a big pocket in the back. And what's great about this is any papers you want to save, you know, if they went to obedience school, their diploma, you can put in here. And incidentally, if you get a diploma that's eight and a half by 11, you can 
uh, put it on your computer and reduce the size and put it in there. So there is room in there and you can put dimensional things in too if you get dog tags or something like that. And then there we go back to the back page, back to the spine, and back to the front. And before I forget, I'm going to take this little thing and stick it in here so she'll know that is a tuck spot. And that is my little dog mini album. Now, so I'll include the um, person who purchased this had me print this out, so I'll include that with it. You can pause to read that. It's all sort of cute stuff. Pause, haha. Uh -huh. I always include with my mini albums a little description on how to use it. So some people are new to mini albums. It tells you you can use uh, the cards to put photos on or to journal. And I will include a little card with a note from the gift giver to the recipient. So that's what I have for you today. If this kind of format is interesting to you and you would like to make a mini album, let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial on this and I will do that. So again, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this walkthrough and have a great day.